Hey everyone, how's it going? Yeah, what we got here is a 30 year old gate and fence and uh, been wanting to replace this for a little while now. Uh, let me show you a couple things that are going on with it here. I'll take you guys off the tripod here for a second. And, uh, well, first of all, a couple videos back, remember I enlarged this for the new truck so I could pull in with the mirrors out. Well, gate needs replaced anyways, but as you can see, this side of the gate is inside of there, so it's plenty wide out there. But over here, sorry about this ladder. Let me get this out of the way real quick. But out here, you'll notice that the post is, I'm all the way flush now to the uh, carport opening. You see the post sticking out about, oh, probably five inches out of the six inch post. So um, what I'm gonna do on this end is I'm gonna actually attach the new post right to the wall and through bolt it through. And just, uh, it will not be cemented in. I'll just hold it sort of flush to the ground. Uh, it's spaced away from the wall now because my drain tile for the uh, storm drain goes in a uh, ditch alongside the foundation, but that's okay. I'll just uh, leave the post uh, just a little bit above flush to the ground so that'll take care of that it'll push this in all the way uh, over six inches in and that'll give me my clearance here now the issue that we have over here it was going to be an easy extraction i usually just put a chain uh, around that concrete and use a chain fall on a tripod and just pull that out it's the easiest way for me without renting a jackhammer or anything so that's what I was going to do, and this post is broken anyways, and this just kind of happened, so that's what uh, got me to uh, jumping on this project. I found out the post had just broken, and when I cut loose the rails, I've, I've screwed them back on the rails to this fence onto the post to keep it kind of shored up, but my, the problem here, the big problem that we're having is that tree there's a root that comes down the bank and comes right on down here and boom, there it is. Right up against my concrete here. No way for me to get a chain in there. It's tight all the way around it. It's grown through. It's kind of undermining my driveway a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that hump there, but I may have to cut the bottom of the new fence a little bit to clear that. And uh, so what I'm gonna do this morning is I'm gonna go up the bank a ways and find that root and I'm gonna chop it off up there a ways. And then I'll uh, have to get uh, get the uh, rota hammer out and see if my bits on there will break that concrete out of there. And then I'll chop that root out right here as far as I can. I got a sawzall with a wood blade and then down there down here and get it get that out of here and then i'll be able to set my new uh posts and i'll be taking all this fence out of here so this is what we're starting with so let's get to getting on this thing and i'll bring you guys back in a little bit okay okay guys well uh the one thing i did forget to mention on the uh when i was talking about this root earlier is I'm not taking it out of here. I'm just cutting it so it doesn't grow anymore. I'm gonna leave this in here. Um, and of course, uh, since I've got this all cleaned around the dirt here, I would take my chainsaw and make quick uh, work out of this. But yep, you guessed it, it's in Eastern Washington. I left it over there to do some tree work there. So I got my uh, sawzall with a wood, uh, bit on this and I would have used this anyways down down there because I know I would just uh, ruin my chainsaw blade in a heartbeat so
All right. One out of three. Okay, we're making progress. We got the root cut. We got the uh, this half of the gate out of there, and we got our exposed uh, post that was broken off right there. So I'm going to grab the rota hammer right now and see if I can break through this concrete using this guy. I got to put it in hammer mode. I'm gonna give that a little bit. If I can't get it with that, I know I can go down and rent the small jackhammer because I've done it before with that. So I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Well, the rota hammer doesn't want to go through it like the small jackhammer does, but I did uh, compromise it, I think, right there, and I was able to go through with the bar. So I'm gonna try this for the first time now with the rock bar on this side. Yep, I think we got a little somewhere. Yeah. It'd be nice. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna get this without going down to the uh, rental place there. Looks like we're gonna have some concrete coming out of here. All righty, yeah. There's that root. I was gonna take the fence out of here, but I, w I figured at least I still have some kind of a fence until I get down to knowing that I got to and see here's another rut right here see that there's another rut all right well oh yeah I think I can get that that post out of there now yep I'll work at that a little bit well thought I'd show you guys my progress I've cut cut through this guy I'm trying to undermine it way down here because it gets gets real thick. It's all the way down there. And I still got concrete around that post. I like to pull this out with the chain fall around the mushroom part because it just pulls straight up and out of there. Got to do it the old-fashioned way now. But uh, getting it with that little rota hammer, I'm just uh, chunking the cement enough to pull a little. I kind of like it's like digging like extracting a tooth i guess my wife said ah, i'd be a bad dentist though <laughs> okay i'll bring you guys back okay guys i think i just saw something that i like see if you guys can see this on there see that now i'm starting to see everything everything moving now so i think we'll get her oh boy yeah I put that thing down there about two feet. That's right, with three bags of concrete. All right. It's still, still got concrete and stuff, but this root is way, 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 way down there. I'm gonna cut it back as far as I possibly can out of there. Oh man, grabbing that thing out of there, that'll be something. All right, bring you back. Looks like it's there, moving out of there, so. I've, I'm, I know I got cement still, but I think this might be. Yep, there we go. Look at that sucker. Wow. Yeah, there's the treated marks. Well, can you see all the way down in there? Because I'm going to clean all that concrete out. It's way the heck down there, and then I'm going to cut that root out. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you the root how far down it is i'm going to cut it way down in there and i finally got all the concrete and wood out of there that's it so we're getting there now look at that you can put me in there well <laughs> a moment of truth i think here oh that's the stump wow <laughs> Ah, oh, look at that. Can you believe that thing? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Wow. All it's right. Like a tree trunk. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm getting the first post that I'm gonna bolt through the wall, uh, going right here. So. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, one through the wall and then I'll be able to level it up a little bit better. Right now it's level, but okay, so I pushed this bit through and then I uh, pushed it back from the inside right to this edge. So that's how long it is to the inside. So I got these guys. That one's, uh, I can get that started and probably pull that one in. I think I like that one good because this one i'm i'm past i'm right there so i'm going to use these little guys Stir this up which it's right on now to go in just a teeny bill yeah. on this guy and and we'll grab our other one okay we'll go make those connections and I'll be back here now and it's it's on there good so we don't have to worry about that that'll be a real good gate post so uh now we're gonna go focus our attention to squaring up uh whoops camera's a little off sorry there guys we'll go to get this hole ready and get this post all squared up and pour some concrete oh yeah and i, I wanted to add now too that we'll get beyond this and you see now that our gate post is well beyond behind this so we gained uh, almost six inches there okay guys so I'm guessing until now but now I got the transit set up so am I in the uh, the top of the post on that side and then I'll I'll make uh, this post come out the same and then I'll go and uh, true across the bottom and we'll uh, We'll bring a line from the bottom, not from the top. You always want to go down low when you true your posts in line. And uh, I'll have a line across there, and that'll be where I set it in the hole at, and I'll be able to adjust it before I pour. Okay, so I was uh, 50 over at uh, that side and 49 and a quarter here. So down is up. So I just dropped my line uh, three quarters of an inch down from the top of the stick there and that would put us right on the money there so all right all right guys so the only thing i have left to do now is pour this hole so uh last thing i did just to let you know i'm just on this side now so you can see uh this line here when it touches down the side of this it's just touching the other one right right now right now but I do it from the other side here but I it would be in your way so everything's all all true level plumb you got it
All right, guys. Well, I decided to stick around a little longer, clean up a little, kind of show you the uh, that one post is in. This guy's all concreted in, and we'll be moving this fence back a little bit. It's all out of whack. Don't go by the fence. We'll move it back since it's getting replaced since this post went back. It used to be out about even with the bricks there. Well, I was going to end the video, but then when I came up here, I noticed I just got something in the mail. Looks like Big Don from Don's Hot Rod Garage sent me a little present. All right, we'll have to open up that uh, in the next video. Thanks, buddy. Hey, guys, I just thought of something. Uh, when I build my frames... I'm going to have to have those guys uh, out here to leave room for that uh, fencing. And uh, my through bolts through to the house were uh, in the way. So, you know, it was would have been hard for me to put a paddle bit in this great big half inch hole. So I just uh, made a little doweling. This is the third time I've used the same dowel. I keep knocking it back out from the other side. So I've just uh, put that in there and take my uh, one inch paddle bit here and just go down uh, pull it down like this and then set this guy in and and I just keep going until I'm flush with that washer and then this should just that should just be fine just like this We'll call that good right there. So I got all three of them done. So I can put this back on there. And then I shouldn't have any issues with this. This is the last time I should have to put it. Okay, guys. So let's get a look at the end of the day here. I got it picked up a little bit. Uh, got this post back in here with... Uh, I had I made some uh, countersink, countersunk those to... Uh, so my uh, when my uh, gate frame is out here, it wouldn't interfere with it. And that uh, kind of graded this, did a little work on there, so that post is setting now. Okay, guys, so that'll wrap up this first video. Uh, we start out with 109 inches between the gate posts, and there's 118 now, so we'll have plenty of room to bring the truck in with the mirrors out. I'll do a second video on the gate frames and some of the other work on there. Hope you guys liked this video. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, please be safe and until the next one. All right.